own fumble and fall off. Off and then it just casually walk off the stage. Age like before. The fact I fell on <coughs> a prior vid that I recently uploaded, I recently made public, is just embarrassing. I just walk off the ledge. I was so embarrassed I ended the video.
Oh, that was a headshot there, it goes. <coughs> this is recording, right? Yeah. That was a hand, and I thought that was a face hugger for a moment. I, I still don't know how dangerous those things are. Because I'll mainly be fighting Xenos. I don't want to get caught off guard by any of them. that shot of one of the predators, the unblooded predators, just coming in and just murking and, and a Zeno. at all.
<laughs> Betrayed it. Absolutely murdered right there. And plus, the turret it kind of restricted. <laughs> Out of that. 
damage is not a problem. Came back and hit the head. Yeah, but you're the one with the big fucking gun! Shot. There's the mother Oh, I forgot the cloak.
Nice shooting! Actually, nice shooting! I'm low! You hear that? That was a headshot.
I could identify it just by looking at the weapon. You hear that?
got that one. Why you always check your corners? <laughs> All I hear is just no way, and and I see him just coming up the stairs. anyways I think we're about to fight Victoria. Yeah. Zeno. I I got hit and then it detonated, killing both of us. <laughs> I'm not even mad, that was actually funny. I didn't even 
even get a scratch on him, and he, and yet I died. Oh, it happened again. That one was just me being bad at jumping. Satisfying to perform insta kills again and on Zenos.
Now I know how custard tastes. Yeah, but you're the one with the big fucking gun. I saw the melee animation. Stand down. <laughs> Trust me, I saw it. They actually scanned me.
a really bad idea to get close to them. And still an extremely bad idea. <laughs> That the hard way. I'll jump ahead. Don't get paid those. This <laughs> walked right into them. They get target prioritization somehow. Alrighty then, you you learn something new every day. You learn something new every life, to be exact. Ah! You know, I don't have much to say on this thing with uh, jump cuts then. Uh, uh, I hope you are enjoying the video so far, far, and I hope you can watch much more when I do them. Down on that wrong door. Okay, that one just got obliterated. That one just outright got obliterated. Wow. It's coming back. Yeah, I'm really hoping it <laughs> It's like that. It would hit like that. <laughs> yeah, you take way less acid damage than I than normal. That is amazing. Hey, now I no longer have to worry about that. I hit, I even saw the water. The aggressive controller heard advantage in melee duels. Well, I just want to bring that up. Oh, but I was the aggressor, Messer, right there. Ah, God. Okay, before I hit the switch, the game just casually roasted me, saying, Are you supposed to use the switch, young one? <laughs> Uh, that was that was amazing. Catch. Miss. <laughs> I didn't even see it.
charge. At least the predator and the Zeno have a certain speed on their side. Relax just yet, Marie. actually go for the shot instead of, you know, aiming elsewhere.
Honestly, if I ran into a cloak against like, the Xenos or the, the freaking Predator, I'd rather go against the Xenos, even if it's just multiples of them. Because cloaking in a war, yeah, unless you're like really creative and, and utilize weaknesses that the Predator has, like, like if you're able to kill, build one, it's difficult. And from what I've heard, they're actually quite durable. Well, it'll take multiple hit heavy hits before dying. And that's just from what I've learned. Uh, along with side me developing games and stuff. Maybe for the more multiplayer focused game, uh, 49 Universes. Like, one of the things I'm gonna do are have like, world events and crossovers. Or other games and possibly movies. Just a little fun fact. if these Xenos would stop bullying me 
need to land like a good hit on the Praetoria. Sorry about that, had to go take a shower. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah. Humiliating this guy. direction How long has it been recording for? Eh, yeah, I can go ahead and finish this. I can go ahead and finish this mission. Anyway. <laughs>
Oh, that was a hit. Still so satisfying to land. And it's just a big middle finger. Er, there's enemies that would prove problematic. And as trust me, these synthetics will probably be a problem. Plus, it doesn't make me reveal my location, unlike the other two. I was lucky, I not all the pellets hit, that's why I survived. Yeah, I have to arc it a little. As long as only really a the pellets connect. Shotguns will not insta kill.
Oh, that was a clean hit on the leg. That was a headshot. You also can't distract them. You guys still detonate. No, we don't even care. I wish I had a soundboard. I wish I had a soundboard. I would just play play one some candy. Literally before doing it. Combat entry get scared before. <laughs> I've never seen them do that before.
<laughs> I have never seen the combat androids do that before. Welcome. This feels almost like a reunion. We've been studying your species for a very long time, my predecessors and I. You see, you're part of our family history. There are secrets hidden inside that pyramid of yours, secrets we must possess about your species, about the origins of those creatures you want. I know we'll unlock them all in time, but it would be so much easier if we captured one of you to assist us. Take this thing alive. I want its organs functioning when it gets to the operating table. I appreciate your attempts. Warning. Laboratory containment systems deactivated. All personnel follow laboratory evacuation procedures. Catastrophic containment failure. Discovery to faster than light commerce. The Whalen Yutani Corporation has been at the vanguard of a new frontier. Whalen Yutani, building better worlds. Oh, you're lucky. Not quite a home away from home is coming to stake its claim. But here are what Initiate safety protocols. All security teams please report to laboratory control. Warning. Containment failure in sections 1, 1A, 3, 4, 6, 7, 7, and 9. Yes, still satisfying so long.
Okay, you're still <laughs> Like, literally all the bullets whizzed by me. Because I'm not moving, they pressing in any directional thing. It's here! Secure! Secure! Don't let it in!
detected in part one. Monorail system activated. I still gotta be very mindful of the ones with shotguns. I should always kill shotgunners first. <laughs> that arm got the distance.
single shot. Studying your species for a very long time, my predecessors and I. You see, you're part of our family history. There are secrets hidden inside that pyramid of yours, secrets we must possess about your species, about the origins of those creatures you want. I know we'll unlock them all in time, but it would be so much easier if we captured one of you to assist us. Take this thing alive. I want its organs functioning when it gets to the operating table. Engaging environmental countermeasures. It would seem that we continue to underestimate you. Do not allow it to access the lab. saw that takedown before. I don't even think anyone actually had this in that animation because I don't think it's possible to it's not, is that an unused takedown animation or just a rare animation that can occur sometimes if you can manage to decap a combat android. Yes. <laughs> BG-386 no. 
I'm in the cutscene! Respect the cutscene! That one's broken! Are those advanced ones as well? Advanced ones are also here as well. I thought they only spawned in the Marine campaign. That's the armor from one. And I didn't know they spawned here as well. That's interesting.
pause recording for a brief moment. There we go. I did a pretty good job. I did a pretty good job. I did make sure to pause. Yeah, I did.
Oh, that's a double. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, it would also have been cool during this fight that's coming up that we did not have our our mask. But merely just for gameplay, we would still have our HUD. <laughs> Welcome to the final boss, Red Alien.
lava! Ah. Uh. Yeah, compared to Wayland and, and the Victorian, I, I can't cheese this guy. Compared to the other bosses, I can't cheese honor. For one. Is that all you believe that we've done here? Merely violated your cultural sanctity. Do what you must then and leave as ignorant as you arrive. Oh, oh that's. Anyways. <coughs> as I was saying, the boss, us cannot be cheesed. He's, there's no stun lock trick. There's no. Oh, easy way of me getting up to an elevated position. I have to fight the Praetor- the Praetalian up close, or the Abomination, as they refer to it as. There is no other way I can kill it. It's just me and it. really like this cutscene, so yeah, I'm not gonna really skip it. Yeah, like when looking at the cutscene closely, it's really well done. The build up to everything. Like, meeting an old berry a incredibly well respected predator. I also noticed as well that when you actually fight Wayland, I think, I think both of these are happening at the same time. The Predator is, er, is fighting fighting the Predalians while uh, Rookie is fighting, fighting Wayland.
slipped right in. I wonder, do you care about anything more than erasing the stain upon your honor? Is that all you believe that we've done here? Merely violated your cultural sanctity? Do what you must then and leave as ignorant as you arrive. Stop dying. It's the lava mainly. That's always an insta kill. The first time the environment is actually a, a challenge. Uh, my first attempt got real far. Try jumping. I got it to half health again. I wonder, do you care about anything more than erasing the stain on your honor? Is that all you believe that we've done here? Merely violated your cultural sanctity. Do what you must then and leave as ignorant as you arrived. I mean, it 
does make sense. There are weapons laying around. I almost hit it. <laughs> There's the spear. I killed it! <laughs> I was gonna have a cool thing where I just throw the spear the coffee stick at it to kill it. <laughs> that was uh embarrassing. I wanted to kill it, okay. I wanted to kill it by throwing the combi stick at it to kill it, but nah, it died to the lava. <laughs> oh well.
At least I got a hilarious boss kill. statistics on the final mission. I did terribly because I died a lot and also barely got any kills as well. Right, I'm actually going to start it over so you can actually hear the full credits theme instead of just like the mission complete theme on top of it, so extras credits. Oh, really? Oh.
and that's pretty much it for the game. I've done pretty much everything I want to do in, multi in the single player mode. Well, other than getting 100% in all the collectibles, getting all the collectibles in every single level in the game, but that's more of an off-screen thing. There is some bonus con other bonus content, mainly the single player survival mode. It's just a survival mode where you only get to play as the Marine. But in terms of ranking, in terms of difficulty for all three campaigns, it mainly will go in this order. In terms of just general difficulty when playing as each character. Starting with with the easiest is in terms of direct confrontation. And, and well, more particularly situational, the Marine campaign. The Marines are situational, to say the least. It really depends on what weapons you have, and there's no way you can avoid any combat encounters. Sure, you can run past most enemies. But for enemies like the combat androids, and especially the xenomorphs, you got no choice but to fight them. And for the combat androids, you gotta aim for either the arms or the legs. I don't think it really makes a difference. But if someone is able to decompile the game and take a look at the enemy stats, that's for all difficulties, is let me know. For th but for real, oh, the most difficult direct confrontation is the Xenomorph. The Xenomorph does not have many options for long-range engagements. It's the closest you have is their tail. Well, even then, that doesn't work very well against certain enemies. They're mainly meant to be a stealth-oriented character. High speed and high mobility. Then there, there is the Predator. Uh, they absolutely rock when it comes to terms of close range, in terms of in direct engagements. Sure, they will struggle with enemies, with Marine and, and Android enemies. But just like how they go up against the Xenos, they will easily tear them to shreds if they get up close. Along with that, enemies won't really go for... Oh, but for a melee attack, if they end up hitting you, if you end up hitting their guard, them blocking, they'll just continue blocking. Perhaps they could try and back up. They can melee and then to deal a little damage, then back up and then shoot at you. Or if they have a shotgun, just shoot at you immediately, because more likely than not, it will instantly kill you. But eh. In terms of survivability, the Marine has the lowest, it's mainly for the fact that they have very little options for different engagements up close, close and from long range. The Xenos have... the Xenomorph has at least some form of survivability if they happen to get hit, hit and are easily able to run, get out of danger very quickly. For the Predator, er, self-explanatory. In terms of the three campaigns on which one I, I found the hardest, definitely the Marine campaign. For one, the main difficulty for the Marine is that they're frail as all out, and they have no way of dealing with enemies up close. And if you shoot an alien in the head while they're up close, you're dead. The Predator at least has as greatly reduced acid damage, which means you'll survive that. Those. Those engagements. It's, in terms of my favorite. Favorite. Uh, I like all three of them. They're all really good. 
But they all have their strengths and their weaknesses, and they have their, their things I like and don't like about them. The one thing I don't like about the Marine campaign is you're frail. You can, you will die really, really quickly if you're not playing it smart or don't run from certain encounters. The Xeno, well, mainly for the fact that they lack any ranged capabilities. And for the Predator, my only complaint that I have about them is that they're way too strong. Um, this can especially be seen in the multiplayer. A smart Predator player will utilize their tools. They won't jump down, down on head-on engagements. It's because in multiplayer, Zeno and and Predator attacks come out a lot slower than than in the single player campaign. Anyways. Anyways. I might as well mention as well. Well, most of the multiplayer air servers are This. Yeah, there's no more serve. Servers. Keep in mind, I mean, there's still a designated player base, it's just very small. I mainly want to eventually invite all of who get a full team up, group up, and play with a bunch of people all online, so, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching now, bye bye I may do some more videos on the Aliens vs. Predator, or just the Predator himself, but I'm not sure, soon of course. Maybe I'll come to the, to the concrete jungle, but eh, who knows.